Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Higurashi no Nakakoto ni. And I'm when gonna they be cry. cuddling with my pop Leo because I'm scared. All safe and sound. Okay, we need to view the new tips. That's what we need. I need to turn the oh, volume down. Oh crap! I forgot about this part. It's all right. I'll try to get through it pretty fast. Ho Hojo couples falling incident. Okay. Get this out of the way. Okay. From the June 1980 edition. On the afternoon of XX at 2 p.m., office employee XXS, that's not as well, XXS, Hinamizawa Village in Shishibone Prefecture disappeared after falling 27 meters from the observatory platform in Shirakawa Prefecture. Police and firefighters searched downstream and discovered a body of XXS around 7 p.m. in that evening. His wife yet has yet to be found. The search has run into difficult di difficulties um, due to the effect of Typhoon 3 from the previous day. It appeared a railing at the observatory that the uh, XX's lean on had broken, causing him to fall. The, ground the groundskeeping staff was questioned by the police in regards to facility deterioration and if park maintenance was, was performed properly. Hmm. So was that it? Okay. Yeah, short one. There's just news clippings. Okay. Get that out of the way again. From the June 1981 edition, that's the following year, on the afternoon of excess around 10 p.m., the XX district, of Hinamizawa Village in Shishibone Prefecture, the Shinto priest of the Furude Shrine passed away after an existing condition he was recovering from suddenly worsened. Parties close to the TCs said he was suffering from anxiety issues concerning the festival which was to be held that day. Also after his so-and-so's death, his wife so-and-so went missing, leaving behind a farewell note. Police and local youth association continued the search. However, given the present presence of the farewell message the fact that the Onigafuchi Marsh was, is said to be bottomless, they have run into difficulties. We're just knocking these out. Knocking them out. Move the mouse. Ah! You bitch. It wasn't reported in the newspaper. Oh. The Gross. housewife murder wasn't reported in the newspaper. That might be important. Radio log. This is Okinomiya Station calling Unit 3. Unit 3, please respond. This is Unit 3. Loud and clear. Backup setting your way. Hold position until further instructions. Over. Roger, Unit 3 acknowledged. Requesting no headlights. Requesting radio silence. Station the doctor has arrived. They want to carry it away. What's the order? Over. Acknowledged. Leave it to the doctor. Affirmative. Understood. Ah, backup's arrived. Should we let them take a photo first? I think the Vic is done for. What? Hmm. Interesting. Raises many questions. Continue. So those were the three incidents. Well, those were the, the incidents over the past three years. Yes. Okay. Everything seems fine. Good morning. Nice job yesterday, Kei Chan. You didn't do so badly yourself, Mion. Yesterday was fun. Oh, that's right, Kei Chan. Thank you very much for Mr. Bear. I'm glad you like it. Don't use it as a pincushion, though. Well, I wouldn't! Hmm. Everything all seems all fine. Still chatting happily, we enter the classroom, but the moment I stepped into the classroom, a splashing sound and a nasty sensation. It was a bucket filled to the brim with water. And unfortunately, my foot stepped right into it. Back to the antics. My now, how diligent of you to mop the floor this morning. Clump, 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 flip, flip. You did that very well. <laughs> Can't you saw flick my forehead? You should set a, you should set a more brutal trap next time. Seeing that, Reyna began to swoon as Mion looked on dejectedly. Everything was the same as always. Everybody was there and nothing felt out of place. The uncertainties I had in the back of my mind since yesterday had vanished. What is it, Kei kun Didn't you get enough sleep, maybe? Maybe? I slept like a log, but if you want, I'll do a reenactment during class. You shouldn't do that. I can't get my voice high enough. For some reason, my throat's not doing it. Do you want me to do it? Do you think you can handle it? Mm -hmm. I trust you. I'm going to trust you. Okay. <laughs> Don't waste this trust. Okay. Mion alerted us that the teacher was coming, so everyone shuffled off to their seats. Good morning, everyone. So yesterday was the festival. Thank you to all the people who stayed until the very end to help clean up. 
We were all slackers, so none of us actually helped clean up. Actually, I had a feeling that the only thing we did was run around the festival and cause a ruckus. Okay then, this time of year you might see some people here from out of town doing interviews about the festival for magazines. I thought it was the usual stuff, so I was going to tune it out, but then I noticed the different tone in her voice and started paying attention. You may be asked questions. Please don't say anything silly or something that could be taken the wrong way. Do you understand? In unison, everyone replied, yes, ma'am. What she said was really vague, but I understood what she was trying to say. After all, this was the fifth year. There were probably lots of third-rate reporters pouring in, hoping something regarding the curse had happened. It did nothing but perpetuate the village's bad image. She was saying, don't spout stupid shit you think is funny. And now, I was one of the ones who needed to keep their mouth shut. I found it rather cute how I felt, felt a sense of unity from such a trite thing, if I do say so myself. Ugh, I really need to clear my throat. And my nose. My nose is making my throat bad. I was summoned to club activities after school. Since everybody was still pretty tired from yesterday, we just spent the day relaxing. Pete, yeah. That wasn't happening. What are we gonna say? Anything. Today, let's play a classic game of deduction. How about this one? Oh, a game from overseas. Looks interesting. The instructions are in English, but the rules don't seem to be that hard. I won't lose you here! I'm not too bad at this game. It seemed that Reyna didn't handle this kind of game very well. The rules are, the person who can match the murder, weapon, and the scene of the crime wins. Clue. There were three kinds of cards comprised of suspects, weapons, and locations. I can see that the names Mio and Enrica were written on the suspect cards. Oh, a card with my name on it as well. There are plenty of different weapons too, like knives, axes, and poison. The locations are pretty nice too, like the living room, the study, and the courtyard. So basically, you take out one of each of the, the cards. These are the answers cards. Damn it. I'm starting to realize why So we shuffle the remaining cards and hand them out. We ask each other about the cards and figure out the right ones. Ah, oh, I see. So the cards nobody has are the true perpetrators. Then you raise your hand if you know the answer. The game ends and we check if the answer is correct. If you're right, then you get a point. If you're wrong, then you lose a point. Since the game ends even if no one gets it right, all the cards are gathered up and redistributed. You'll learn as you go. You'll really have to use your brain. Already getting tired from this freaking arrow key. You'll get confused if you don't take notes. The rest of you can figure out by playing, so, Mion, what's the penalty this time? Everyone directed their attention to Mion. Let's see. We're all still a little tired from yesterday, so maybe we'll take it easy with a gopher penalty. You'll be asked to rush out and buy stuff for everyone. So, just being asked to buy stuff like drinks and candy, I guess. I feel like the penalty today is pretty simple. I wonder, is it really? Is it really? Is Cage Karen thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, you don't know. You don't know what you'll have to go buy. I'm betting Mion would send out whoever loses to buy stuff like hemorrhoid cream or happy, flam happy family planning manual or other crazy stuff. Cards were lightly shuffled, passed out to each player. Real perpetrator, the correct weapon in the scene of the murder I've been taken out, so the means of the cards I'll have in my hand are all my innocent cards. Then, I'll go first, since I'm the club president, I guess. Well then, Mion, knife, study. We pick one suspect, mur weapon, and murder scene and ask each person. If you have any of those cards, then you must say, I have one. However, you don't need to say which one you have. Yeah, I got it. Mm. Me too. I have one. Oh my, all of them are here. Three people answered when she asked if they had Mio, Knife, and Study. So that means Mio, Knife, and Study are all in the clear. Gotta jot that down. Then I'll go, Raina Axe Lounge! Hmm, 
Only two people said they had one. So it means out of Reyna, Axe, and Lounge, one of them is correct and one is part of the crime. No, wait. Even if they say they have one, they don't have to say how many. It's possible that either Satoko or rika has two of the cards. Well, Kei-chan is next. Go ahead. Ooh, wait just a little. I'm still sorting things out! The game has me thinking more than I thought. Oh man, this feels like it's gonna be tough. Mm, I'll put this work out. All right, now I have a, now I have the criminal. What? Already? Here I am spinning around in circle, and Mio just now raises her hand. The murder is Rika-chan in the infirmary with the poison. Well, Mio drew the cards from the box and we checked to see if the deduction was right. You were right. And all I needed was one more hand. I couldn't tell whether it was poison or a pistol. I never use a pistol. I like killing them slowly with poison. <laughs> Rigaton said such a hugely terrifying thing with such a sweet little face. Good grief, Rika. Everyone was making commotion about how they almost had it. Ray and I were left out in the cold, though. <laughs> how did you know, Kenichi-kun? Not right. How did you know, Kenichi-kun? Still not right. How did you do? How did you do, Kate? You could. Don't worry, I got it. Don't worry. I won't. I won't make you do that no more. I couldn't get it. You okay? Are you realizing you read it twice wrong? Why did my brain hurt? Didn't you say you were um dyslexic? I think so. I think so as well. <laughs> it's okay. He's a criminal. Don't, don't worry. I had no idea either. How can you both be so unsure? You'll both end up in last place together at this rate. That's even worse! Going off buying something together as a couple? What if we ended up having to buy the happy family planning guide? <laughs> Why is he so committed to that? I can tell from Keiichi's expression that he's not having a very, that he's not very good at this game. What? That's not true! I'll show you the true power of Sherlock when I borrow it during this next round. <laughs> my, my, that sounds just wonderful. I shall give you quite the thrashing. Freaking evil little child. <laughs> After that, I managed to somewhat grasp the trick behind the game, but I was still always a step or two behind. I saw that Mio was somehow gleaming, gleaning information from how the others were asking their questions. The level of experience was too much. The only way I could stage a comeback is if I became ruthless. I tossed out the simple conception, conception of deduction and s switched over to the thought process needed to win. The important thing is need, is, isn't to find out the criminal, it's to win at the game. Huh. Eureka! Burp. Ah, sorry, I need to go to the bathroom. Take your time and squeeze out a nice one. Meow. Eat time, that's gross! <laughs> I had to hold him off the game and headed down the hall. The air was crisp. It just showed how stagnant the air in the classroom was from our body heat. On the school grounds, some of our classmates were still playing around. After spending some time cooling my head, Raina made her way over towards me. Hey, Chikun, did you call for me? Yeah, I did. As I got up from my seat, I winked over at Raina. I'm glad it worked out. I don't want to waste much time, so I'll get right to the point. Raina, what's your record at this game we're playing today? She was taken aback. After a moment, she hesitantly opened her mouth. Uh, um, well, all losses. Why do you ask? I wonder, I wonder. I could tell from how apprehensive she, how appreh and apprehensively she was playing. The way things are going, I will as well. I can't figure out a way to pull off the last minute comeback on this one. So, so I guess the both of us will be taking that penalty. Hey, hey, don't accept defeat already. How about we win this? Both of us. But, but how can we? I brought my lips up to Raina's ear. Whisper, 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 whisper. What'd you say? All you said was whisper. Oh, is that allowed? Did you forget, Raina, the second rule of our society? Do everything in your power to obtain victory. Yeah, I'll try my best. Ah, so now we're gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat. Our plan of attack was a quite rudimentary one. 
At the beginning of the game, everyone would be focused on their own hand for a while, taking notes and whatnot. Since our seats were right next to each other, we'd reveal our hands to each other. If we did under the desk, nobody would know. We'd begin the game twice as much information as everyone else. Having this information... Having this much information would mean we'd need to investigate less. God, I choke on my own tongue sometimes. With this sort of plan of attack, we start off with a big lead over the other guys. Yeah! With this, we can probably win! We both smirked at each other. If I was a shady businessman, then Raina was the corrupt senator. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> well, let's, well, let's hurry back. We'll do it. We'll work as a duo to surprise everyone. Hey now, there's no point if we go back together. Well, maybe that's reverse. It would be like flat out telling them we made a little arrangement. Oh, sorry. Then what should we do? Go back ahead of me, Raina. I'll take my time coming back after washing my face or something. Okay, got it. You're starting to come off the camera. <laughs> I'm having to check just if I'm off camera or not, but you're the one that's like... Alright, now we're gone. <laughs> now we're back. <laughs> Raina turned around and headed back to the classroom. Hmm, I guess I should wait a bit longer before going back. If I went too soon, it would seem like I went to the bathroom. If me or one of them suspected something, there, there could be problems. Well, they figured out sooner or later because both Rainer and I would start winning over and over again. Both Rainer and I will have earned enough points to be avoid being the losers by the time Mew and realized what was happening. Excellent. Not bad at all. Mar Barcoon, may I have you a moment? Huh? This is the teacher. Man, things were just getting good. What is it? I'm a bit... You have a guest. Please make your way to the entrance. A guest? It's not like I own a hotel. They have been waiting. Please hurry. It was rather unfortunate that I had someone waiting on me right before a big, my big match, but I was more interested in the in the unexpected guest. I didn't want to waste any time, so I decided to take care of it quickly. Oh no. The entry was a heavy contrast from the hot sunlight and deep shadows. Waiting there looking uncomfortably warm was a middle-aged man, his tie sloppily loosened, and jacket tucked underneath his arm. Are you Mara Bar, son? Gaichi Marbar, son. There was no question that he wasn't a resident of Hanomizawa, and that this was, without a doubt, the first time he had met me. Ever since I met Tomotaki-san, I've been running into so many middle-aged men. That's right. Who might you be? I have the AC on in my car. Let's talk there. It's a bit hot here, don't you think? The man, completely ignoring my question, pointed over to his car parked near the gate and began walking. You gotta be kidding me, I had no intention of getting, going along with some geezer that I don't even know. And he was asking me to get in this car with him. I'm not going to bite. Come on now. He opened the back, do back door of his car and called me over. I didn't like this old man, but I wanted to know what this was about. Even while knowing the, that conversations that start out like this never have never led to anything good. Hmm. The inside of his car was pretty cool. Cars with air conditioners were supposed to be a luxury. My dad didn't have one in his car, at least. Please let me know if it's too cold for you, okay? I have a habit of cranking it all the way up. So what business do you have with me? Out of spy, I decided to ignore his remark in the same way he did to me and start my own line of questioning. He pulled out a notepad from his pocket and took out a picture that was stuck between the pages. On it was a face of a pretty goofy-looking guy. If you know anything related to this individual, please tell me. Who the heck is this? I doubt even his close friends would be able to recognize who he, who he was from his expressionless picture that looked like it was taken taken at a DMV. There were scribbles on his shirt done in permanent marker. Starting with yours, Maribar son, and quite a few of your classmates signed as well. Huh? This is Tomatake-san? There was no hint of his... Usual unreliable and easygoing personality in this, in this photo. It was an expressionless, half asleep face. Then do you know this woman? Even before seeing I had a good idea of who it was. Uh, I don't remember her name, but she's some lady who was with Tomatake-san last night. I didn't know what her name was, but I didn't know she was a resident of Namizawa. When was the last time you saw these two? The night of the Watanagashi, we spoke. They seem pretty close, I guess. Did anything bother you about them? Anything is fine. 
Go ahead and say it. Being asked for every little detail is very troubling, honestly. I had a pretty good idea of who this guy was by now. Did something happen to them? There was no response to my inquiry. Thus, I replied to, the si to that silence in kind. I was pretty sure, no, certain that this guy was a cop. Then why? Why was he asking me about Tomatake-san? Did something happen to him? More importantly, why me? Shouldn't there have been plenty of other people who knew more about him than I did? The roar of the air conditioner felt unbearably loud. After a long pause, he finally spoke again. You've moved here just recently. Isn't that right, Marbarsan? Are you aware, I wonder, about the stories of Oyasiro-sama? My heart began to race. Pretty terrible at hiding things. It probably showed on my face. Not at all? If you don't, then that's fine. Well, I have heard of it. Tomitake-san told me, actually. How much do you know about it? The dismemberment killing, the accidental death, the death by illness followed by suicide, and the lady who was beaten to death. The incidents that always happen the day of the Watanagashi ending his suspicious deaths. I didn't think Tomitake-san would have been would have kept anything from me. I think that was everything. No, rather, I didn't want to think there was anything more than that. Do you know of that? Well, curse Marbarasan? Feel free to speak openly about it. I don't believe in it. My answer was instant. It wasn't so much that I didn't believe in it as I was on the verge of, d of believing. I wanted to clear away my, my own doubts. That was a more prominent feeling. Really? Then that's great. Guess you really are one of those city raised boys. So what if I don't believe? I have friends waiting, so could you get to the point? The man in this picture is dead. Shit. I was kind of expecting that. My mind went blank. Huh? What happened to my Takesan? It would seem that he died last night. That was the night of the Watanagashi. Do you understand the implications behind that, Mirabara-san? Implications? Not at, not any at... Not any for the cause of his death or the reasons behind it. The real problem was that he he died on the day of the Watanagashi. Meaning this year, curse the Oyashiro-sama had once again. The death of Jiro Tamatake is still confidential. You can understand why that is, right? I didn't want to understand why. Please tell me. Tell me what happened. It was rather peculiar. It might be a little too graphic for some someone born and raised in Namizawa. It was, a, it was a roundabout way of saying it, but it caused me to doubt whether or not I wanted to hear the rest. I would only regret forcing myself to learn something I shouldn't. Or at least, that's how I figured I would feel if I listened to the rest. One of our patrol cars discovered the body on the way back- Uh oh. That was one of the notes. Them finding Tomatake san's body. One of our patrol cars discovered the body on the way back from the security detail at the festival. It was late, about five till midnight. The location was, um, you know where the road in, road into town becomes paved, right? Down past the slope, on the shoulder around there. There were a few street lights on that road. Its pitch black darkness was only broken by the lights of passing cars in the moon. It was a stroke of luck that Tomatake san was spotted collapsed on the shoulder of the road. Tomatake-san was face down, covered in blood. Blood and muck covered the asphalt. We thought it was a hit and run at first. But when the officer checked to see if he was still alive, he quickly noticed something abnormal. His throat had been ripped open! From a knife or something? No. Nails. Nails? As in fingernails? With those he clawed through? From the coroner's report revealed that it was from with his own nails. What, what, what does that mean? Basically, it wasn't a murder. It was suicide. Tomitaka san thought there was a reason Taro op opened his own throat? As hard as he could with his own nails? He went through the skin until he started to bleed. Even then, Tomitaka san didn't stop. He continued clawing with enough intensity that it could peel off his nails, still clawing. Still clawing. Then, as his nails reach those vital arteries that you should never damage, he continued clawing. Splurt. Blood splattered on the ground around him. As he bled, while gasping for breath, he collapsed. His body spasmed, and he died in agony. We 
thought drugs were to blame, but nothing of that nature was detected. But this was a suicide? Never heard of such a thing. It's a natural way of dying. This wasn't a mysterious death, and what was? The way he died. In these five years, his death most resembles that of a curse. Not to show both myself and Tomitaki san who proclaimed there was no such thing as a curse, that we were wrong. There were a few more suspicious details. From his body chemistry, perspiration, epilation, and so on, we conclude that he was in a state of hyst hysteria right before his death. That was a given. It's hard to believe someone could be in a sound state of mind while clawing out their throat. Wounds on his hand masked his discarded piece of lumber found nearby. There are traces of where he struck trees and guardrails within. Tomitake san's blood was found all over the place. Meaning. Meaning that while he was tearing out his own throat, he was swinging around a piece of lumber. There were external injuries, which were not self inflicted, discovered on Tomitake san. There was a high probability Tomitake san was assaulted. The external injuries suggested that there may be multiple suspects. To summarize, Tomitake san was surrounded and attacked while wandering the night roads in a state of panic. After being cornered, he pick up, picked up a piece of lumber and tried fighting back. Somewhere in there, he began madly tearing at his throat, clawing at it, and he died. The presumed time of death was around 9.23 p.m., meaning it occurred right after you finished talk, talking to tamatake san at the festival. Everyone signed tamatake sans shirt and parted ways. Right after that, Oh yeah, he should have been with a woman. What about her? She's missing. She hasn't shown up to work, and she hasn't returned home either. There's a very high probability that she was involved in this incident. For a while, I could only gaze off into space. I never would have thought that something unfortunate happening to somebody close to me could affect me this deeply. The time I had spent with tomatake san was short. But we went to the same festival, spent time together, and took part in the same competition. It was one of us. We've been continuing the investigation on various fronts, but when it comes to Oyashiro sama's curse, the villagers here aren't very cooperative. That I knew well. I would have been none the wiser if not for Tapitake san the outsider telling me. So that's why you came to me? Because I'm not originally from Hinamizawa? I should have been angry that that was the reason he wanted to hear what happened from me. If things go the way they've been, then the conclusion would not would be that Jiro Tamitake died from Oyashiro sama's curse turned away from me and gazed far off into the distance. The night of the one Watanagashi. During that sacred ritual, he callously snap snapped off photos, angering o Oyashiro-sama. That's, that's how it's going to turn out. There's no way Oyashiro-sama would inflict divine punishment on Tomatake-san! Tomatake-san had, had to have been killed by humans, and a cowardly group no less. There's no way I'm going to let this end up being the fault of some curse. I think so as well. There's no such thing as divine punishment or curses. Tense mood was cut into the man's hearty laugh. That's how it must have been, Marabara-san. Cooperation from individuals in Amizawa who don't believe in the curses is indispensable. Understand? Neither Tomatake-san nor I believed in curses. But with the way things were going, it would just end, end up with Tomatake-san's death marking the fifth year. Which would mean that Amizawa had rejected tomatake -san. That was something I couldn't allow. tomatake -san was one of us. He didn't live in Hanamizawa, but he came every single year. In a sense, he was more of a resident than I was. There was no way that tomatake -san could have been cursed by Oyashiro-sama. But there was no- there was nothing I could do to help. I have no idea what happened that night either. No, no. If you see or hear something that draws your attention, then that is enough. If I see or hear- he was talking in the future tense. Things or people or rumors, anything is fine. I don't care if they're unfounded. Here, this is my number. If I'm not there, then just leave a message with whoever picks up. He handed me a piece of paper with his number on it, but I hesitated for a second. If I took it, then whether I wanted to or not, I'd be mired deep in this matter. Please help me solve these questions surrounding Tomitake-san's unfortunate death. That's right. 
Why was I hesitating? I needed to find the murderer who killed my friend! I snatched up the piece of paper as a satisfied grin spread across his face. Everything we spoke of today is a secret. Please keep this confidential. Understood. From your friends as well. Especially from Sonazake-san and Furude-san. Please do not inform them. Sonazake? You mean Mio? Why? Are you saying that they have something to do with the incident? With my friend's name brought up so abruptly, and being told to keep it a secret from them, I became rather angry. Huh. Is this what they call investigative privilege, I suppose? Don't play games with me. Mio is a close friend of mine. I snapped at him, but he didn't seem especially to be especially offended. I wouldn't mind telling you, but it just may upset you. Say it! He hesitated a little. Turning his gaze to the outside of the car, he began to speak after thinking a bit. There is a possibility that the string of incidents happening here at Hanamizawa are a result of village conspiracy. There's no way that could be right! Give me a break! First of all, is there any proof of that? No evidence. Also, each of the cases were resolved. None of the perpetrators had any direct connection to the village. And how did you come to that conclusion? Every year, the enemies of the village die on the day of the Watsunagashi. Don't you think that's enough reason to suspect something? Only the residents of Namizawa felt that the day of the Watsunagashi was sacred. So basically, because the incidents happened on that day, it was somehow related to Namizawa. First, it was the dam construction for them. Then it was a villager that supported it. Those the village hold a grudge against die one after another from mysterious causes. The means are different, but in the end, but in the end, the result is the same. Unfounded, unreasonable suspicion. But it, but it couldn't just be shrugged off. So the victims after that. So the victims after that. What about the Shinto priest and his wife's death? They weren't enemies of the village. The villagers had expected leadership from the Shinto priest at the time of the dam dispute, but he wasn't proactive. So there wasn't a fraction of villagers who had harbored ill will towards him as a result. Ill will? It's not like he did anything bad to the village. What about that housewife after that? Did she die just because she was the wife of a brother who supported? That's such a trivial reason to kill someone. But what about Tamatake's son? He's not afflicted with the dam project at all. Was he killed just because he was an outsider? In the beginning, it felt almost related to the dam project, but as the years went on, the enemy threshold of the victims had become much lower. Well, that's the scary part. The bar keeps getting lower. What's scary about that? It means it's not just enemies of the village anymore. Just being an outsider is reason enough. And then next year's victim. They're just going to be picked out of the village outsider's pool? It might be a person that just moved here. What do you mean by... I swallowed my words. Here in Hanamizawa, the ones who would be considered the most outside would be my family. I was proof of... I was proof enough of that, wasn't I? I still could really couldn't remember the names of the people I passed by. Then, the next victims, my family... Was she saying it was going to be me? But what does that have to do with me own? I can't go into details, but the Sonazaki family led the damn protests. Quite fervently so. This is also true of Mio Sonazaki herself. She has quite a few misdemeanors and obstruction of public wor worker offenses on her record because of the protests. I knew Mio knew what it meant to fight. This was the first I've heard of her family leading the protests, though. Then, well, what did it all mean? Are you saying that Mio's family is involved with this string of incidents? I wouldn't go that far. I'm just saying that if it was a conspiracy, then they'd have the highest probability of being behind it. Not a very clear explanation. I felt like he'd magnif magnificently avoided the details I really wanted to know. We don't know who or how involved anyone is right now. That is exactly why I don't want you to say anything to the villagers. Instead of answering, I gave a very bitter expression. It seemed that he understood it well enough, though. But think of it like this. I don't want to worry the villagers who blindly believe it's the curse. How about that? What do you mean, how about that? How should I know? The reasoning behind wanting me to, to not carelessly open my mouth wasn't it, about it wasn't it too hard to comprehend. The perpetrator was here. It had nothing to do with a curse. He was definitely going to be caught by the police and made, it to, made to pay for his crimes. 
None of the villagers should have anything to do with, with that, that process. It may cause those sensitive about the curse to just worry needlessly. Just like everyone kept it from me, so I wouldn't worry about it. Is it now my turn to keep it from them? So they don't have so they didn't have to worry? I was just talking to myself. Unlike me, everyone else had been worrying over these mysterious incidents yearly, and the incident this time probably means a lot more than them. I didn't. I didn't want to burden them anymore. In the end, everything went to went as the man had wanted. As insipid as it was, but it couldn't be helped. I understand. I'll keep it to myself. Is that fine? Um Mr. Oishi. No, Okino Okinomiya Police Station. You can call me Kurochan if you want. Uh no, Oishi san is fine. The way he has said it, it was unpleasant, yet retained hints of politeness. He was the spinning image of a vulgar police officer. Though I've never seen one this bulky before in the cop shows I watch. I've taken up too much time. Your friends are waiting, aren't they? I should probably let you get back to them. The door opened with a click in the stream of the, in the, and in streamed the oppressive heat. It was blistering outside of the car. Was it really this hot of a day? It was an almost cruel heat, as opposed to the mechanical coolness inside the car. It was as if the land of Hanabizawa itself suddenly hated me. I felt a little sad as the thought crossed my mind. I didn't mean to suspect your friends. Please don't misunderstand that. I refrained from telling him that it was too late to say something like some, something that self-serving. It's fine if you don't see or hear anything, Marbarasan. There is enough proof that the village is not involved. I'll contact you if you hear or see anything. But I'm no detective. Oh, I'll contact you if I hear or see anything, but I'm no detective. Please don't expect too much from me. I won't. You don't have to become a detective. Just go on living as you have up till now. Just let me know if you notice anything. I hastily made my way back to the school building after giving him a quick bow. See you later. Farewell, Mauer Barcoon. I returned to the school building without looking back. Water break. <laughs> Woo! I don't know how much time has pa had passed. I did feel bad for keeping them waiting, but right now there was a lot on my mind. Tomitake-san's death was hard enough as it was, but to think that there was a possibility of a village conspiracy. Worse still, there was a chance that Mion was involved. Nonsense. Impossible. Not Mion, Reina, Satoko, or Rikachan. It was a group that attacked Tomitake-san? Who could be the who could the perpetrators be? Could it be they were hiding here somewhere in Hanamizawa? I didn't know. All I can say for certain that is, I knew that Mion couldn't be the perpetrator. It's me, Chan! The perpetrator! Huh? I was startled to hear Reyna's voice. With the rope in the mm, lounge! <laughs> nope! No! Raina clutched her head while flailing about. Looks like you're just... Looks like you're just self-destructing over there. Over here. Wow. Ah! Keiji-san, you're quite late! As you may well know, I'm seething with anger. Uh, sorry about that. I was called into the staff room, you see. You were reprimanded for bad behavior? That's a shame. Well, it's been pretty heated over here. Since it's getting pretty late, let's make the next game the last one. If I remember right, I had zero points. This is pretty much the side I'm going to be finishing in the last place. Don't worry, Gage-Gun. I'm at negative one points. So... The heck? Your score is lower than mine and I wasn't even playing. This is the final match to decide if the penalty is going to be carried out by Reyna alone or by both Kei-Chan and Reyna. Yeah, right. Just let Reyna do the penalty by herself. We made a promise, Gage Gun, that we would both win. I waited all this time, you know, you know? I'm sorry about that. Mm. I followed my initial plan of showing Reyna my cards, but I didn't say who the criminal and who was a criminal and just waited for her to call. I got it! 
murderer is me with the poison at the entrance. Is it? Is it? My, my, Reyna. Quite a quick answer. Another stab in the dark, oh? Reyna's correct. Oh, then it's decided that Keiji-san shall take part in the penalty as well. Hooray! keiji let's both do our best. Yeah, let's do our best. <laughs> it's my fault, so I have no choice. Then that's game. It's me, Mio Sonazaki, ranked first. And dead last are Keiji Marabara and Reina Ryugu. Everyone applauded and the game ended. From now was the penalty. Now then, I ranked first, so I'll decide what you'll be buying for the gopher penalty. Ooh, what should you make us buy, I wonder, I wonder? Let's blacklist the drugstore. That was your aim, wasn't it? Huh? I don't have any business at the drugstore. This old man's already got a list prepared for you on this piece of paper. Whoa! There's a lot of stuff written here! A lot! A lot? Damn it, what is she making us buy? Two blocks of tofu, shampoo and conditioner, apple vinegar and fried tofu. What the heck is this? It looks more like a shopping list than a penalty. Me was certain she was gonna win today. Rule 7 of our society. You cannot refuse any penalty. Here's some money. The shampoo I usually get is Fruit Fable. Thanks! Th th this is just your grocery list! She's tired. I promised, I promised myself that I if I won the next time, I'd make her go buy hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> From the family pack. Is that the end of the chapter? No, probably not. We have to go do our penalty. Maybe. Gosh. These really wear me out. <laughs> we can really only do one of these at a time. Wow. Oh, that was the end of it. All right, you received new tips. There's two tips. There are more than four perpetrators? All right, let's... Not a clue. This is an achievement, but you can't see the achievement. Only I can see the achievement. Your new tips. So more than four perpetrators and search notice. Okay. All right, so what do we got? We have time for other tips. It's okay. Hypovolemic. Hypovolemic. Shock induced by clawing out their own throat. Tissue is packed under the nails. Not someone else's nails. Does this it's make your throat hurt at all? No, at all. <laughs> it hurts my throat to speak. No, no, no. I mean, like, talking. Yeah, about... I gotcha. It's undoubtedly by the individual's own nails, like when you talk about someone getting smacked in the balls and something like, oh. <laughs> The shape of the, of the scars also matches. Yeah. I know the immediate cause of death was suicide. I get it. You're saying the cause of death is unnatural, right? It's kind of like when your back itches and you scratch a little too hard and draw blood. Some of Tamataki-san's fingernails have been pulled out. Mm. It's actually quite simple to pull out one of his own nails. But it really hurts. Under normal circumstances, the, the pain would prevent you from completely pulling them out. Also, there was a lot of bruises on Tomotake's body. It's clear from the shape of them that he was assaulted first by someone or a group of people. According to the tux toxicology report, the deceased was in an extreme state of hysteria right before death. Then he fought back and clawed out his own throat because of how hysterical he'd become. The guys attacking him certainly would have been surprised by that. It is possible that in such an abnormal environment, a person could perform acts that a sane individual couldn't possibly imagine. Of course, those are very rare cases. Actually, Oishikun, would, that would plank that the deceased uses a weapon. They only found sand and the paint from the guardrail on it. What about cloth, fi cloth fibers or skin? Nothing. The deceased didn't strike the assailants. Or it could be that he, they took the plank he was fighting back with. In that case, they wouldn't have gone out of their way to replace it with another. They take, they take them all. Ha 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 ha! That's true. Tamatake is pretty built and tan. He was quite athletic, huh? That's right. He's pretty active. 
Can't imagine what kind of sports he did when he was alive, but I think his physical strength would be on the higher side, meaning he would be difficult to overpower in a brawl. If a man was such such a physique sensed he was in danger and swung the plank around quickly. It's just unthinkable that it would be even the nick that you that it wouldn't even nick the perpetrator. And his opponent was unarmed. This guy had a wooden plank, so you'd think he'd hit him at least once. To surround and take down someone of his physique. I wonder how many people it would take. You dimwit. You should know better than anyone. Have you forgotten your bad cop days? If I was to take down this guy, how many would I need? When a group wants to take down the big prey, it's fundamental to attack with numbers. I guess about four. Even if there was a gap in their strength, they'd manage. Then there were quite a few perpetrators. So any drunken disorderly groups of more than four are suspicious? A group of four or more. Just, if they had that many, they couldn't have hid, hidden the body in a less obvious location? Or did he somehow break away from that fatal predicament? Then there would be no reason to commit suicide. Moreover, I still can't comprehend the irregular way he died. It's full of mysteries. That's under serious consideration on my, on my end, too. I'll be examining it as thoroughly as possible, don't get, but don't get your hopes up. After all, we've never encountered a death like this before. I'm not hoping for much, but I am looking forward to the results. Oishi-san! The chief is calling you! Thanks. See you around. Yeah. Best wishes. Okay. So it's suspected that there's a group of people, but I don't think it was anybody. I don't think there was any assailants. I think... I think he, like, Oya, Oya Shirosama's curse, like, got to his brain somehow. Yeah. Search notice. Jiro Tometake, deceased. Resided in a cheap hotel in Shishibone City. Registered under the name Jiro Tamataki. Pen name. Travels via folding bike. No license. The bicycle was found 300 meters away, abandoned at the side of a forest path. Present on the day of the festival, accompanied by the missing Mio Ta Takano. Was seen around 9 p.m. by police. Location afterwards unknown. Held residence in Hanamizawa for one week each season after the last five to six years. Freelance photographer specializing in wild birds. Check with magazine companies. Nothing, suspic nothing suspicious in the film located among the articles of the deceased. While it was among the articles of the deceased. Mere act of violence? From the contents of his wallet, he spent most of his time around Tokyo and Chiba. Along the Sobu National Rail Line? Railway Line? No individual matching the name Jiro, Jiro Tametake in the residency records of any of the Tokyo awards. Compare teeth to dental records. Send to Metro Police. Attach a photo. Send to Metro Police. Contacting magazines regarding Jiro Tamatake. Mio Takano, missing. Nurse at Ir Irie Clinic. Became close to Tamatake through a passion for wild bird photography. Resides in Okinomiya, X District XXX. Single. Witnessed accompanying Tamatake on the festival grounds. Currently missing. Abducted? Or maybe a suspect? An important person of interest. Had no, mail to, had no motive to kill the deceased. Squabble from jealousy? Need to thoroughly investigate the relationship. Place of work, etc. Need to get information from the police on scene again. I want some cream puffs. Four jumbo ones. Oishi! Oh, that was Oishi. He wants cream puffs. <laughs> Alright, so... We hope you guys enjoyed Whoa, this one. That was... That was... That was Brutal. That was quite the bomb that got dropped on us. Yeah. Like, Tomatake is dead now. Like, I thought he was going to leave that night, wasn't he? Yeah. Or the next day. Well, we thought it was going to be, um, um, Keiichi's dad yeah. that was going to be the one that dies to the curse, but it was Tomatake. I thought he was just going to be the one that tells about the curse and leaves. But no. Damn. Well, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Keiichi's probably... Not in a very trusting mood of his friends, I would imagine. I mean, if the police is... If Oishi is ex suspecting Mion and her family, we need to know more about Mion's family. Didn't... What was the other name he said? Was that Ryugu? Was it... No, it wasn't Rainers? Ryugu. He said Sonazaki. And I want to think... 
Tanakato? Tanako? Tanaka? I don't remember. I'd have to review the footage, but I don't remember whose last names, uh, what the last names of Satoko and Rika are. Rika is Ryugu. No, Rain is Ryugu. Oh, I mean... We Rain don't know Rika and Satoko. Satoko's last names. Or, we just don't remember. Yeah. But, Mio's family and someone else's family of the group of friends we have yeah. could be involved. Could be. Could be. But Mion's been... family could have something to do with the curse, too. Yeah. We don't know. But there's a lot of questions to be had here. And hopefully we'll get some of those answers in the next video. So we hope you guys enjoy, and stay tuned for the next one. Bye, guys!